Brett Young with me sound nice because he's going to perform this Friday night at Ramble Jam. That's a two-day outdoor country music festival at the Dakota County Fairgrounds. And Ramble Jam is put on by the Rotary Club of Farmington and proceeds help the community. I just want to keep listening. He has so many good hits. Well, here to tell us more about the 7th Annual Ramble Jam is Chrissia Moe, the Rotary Club President, and Anika Richner, one of the Ramble Jam Committee members. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. So I have participated in some Rotary events throughout the Twin Cities, and I got to tell you, there's been no events like this. I mean, these are some big names for the Rotary to bring in. We're talking uh, Brett Young this year. I know in the past years you've had Sam Hunt. I got to start with you, and you got how do how do you get these big names? We do a couple things. We do research throughout the year on who's going to be big, who's up and coming. We work with K102, who is one of our presenting sponsors, so they help us kind of guide us. Sure. Um, and yeah, so and we have a talent buyer as well that helps us. And Chrissia, the money raised goes back to the community, but this has been going on for several years now. Mm -hmm. So how does it really benefit the community? Um, all of, this is our one big fundraiser of the year, and uh, all of the money that we um, raise for this goes back to our communities. Um, we give money to the schools. Um, we give money to the students through scholarships, the fire department, the police department, all kind of going back to the community. So That's fantastic. How many people show up to this at the... Dakota County Fairgrounds. We've had up to 5,000 people. Oh my goodness. And this is a busy, busy weekend then for Farmington. It, it is. We only have 26 members that put it on, but it's well supported by the community. So. And how uh, big is the venue in terms of how many people can it actually support? We could, is 5,000 the max? No, or We can get bigger and bigger if we want to. We're in a huge field, so we can just expand the fence as we as we grow. And what is the response you get from some of the musicians that come in? Because I've seen Sam Hunt <laughs> perform live at a beat and I know he's performed here several times and he did perform here in the past but what do they say when they leave? Our artists have a great experience and I think mm -hmm. it's because we have great hospitality and we welcome people and um, have a good reputation for for how we treat our artists. All mm -hmm. right and so this year's lineup we mentioned Brett Young but we also have Kit Moore who are some of the other singers that you can tell us about? Uh, we have uh, Tucker Bethert, uh, we have Drake White, um, we also have um, William Michael local, Morgan. William Michael Morgan. Yep. And then we have a local band, the Plot Hounds. Am I missing someone? Chris, Chris Hockey, Hockey as well, Hockey. right? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Putting you on the spot there. That's <laughs> a lot of names. That's really good. I know. You guys have so many big acts here. So uh, tickets still available, yes. I'm guessing. Wonderful. Um, Brett Young's going to be the headliner on Friday night, and Kit Moore is on Saturday night. And if you want uh, more information on how you can attend Ramble Jam, the information's on your screen. We also have more information on our website, wcco.com slash links. Say again how much tickets are. <laughs> Put you on the spot again. You're totally putting us oh, on the spot. Oh, you guys, sorry. You got to go on the website. It's okay. RambleJamCountry.com. No matter what it is, it's a great deal because it's going for a good cause. Exactly. Right? There you go. All right. Well, thank, thank you both you. for coming in. Thank you very thank much. You.